Welcome to Rome with Humi. I'm back at Villa Borghese, in front of the gallery. Remember the Pope Paul V and his nephew Cardinal Scipione Borghese, the art collector? As you can see, their family crest is everywhere. Last time I didn't show you the garden, which is behind the building. Let's go around. A classic Italian garden beautifully maintained. Now let's go inside. In the other episode, we went directly to the second floor where they keep the paintings. But today we'll see the first floor where you'd find masterpieces of Caravaggio. and sculptures ancient and non. This gallery is especially famous for its Bernini collection. Gian Lorenzo Bernini, the maestro of Baroque. Born in Naples, but as a little boy with his father, sculptor Pietro Bernini, he moved to Rome and he never left the city. Each one of his work is breathtaking, but today I want to focus on this piece, the rape, abduction of Proserpina. If you're a fan of Greek myths, you'd know the story. We're in the beautiful, rich island of Sicily. Ceres, also known as Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, and her daughter Proserpina, we're enjoying taking care of flowers and trees as they do every day. Pluto, or Hades, the king of the underworld, sees Proserpina and falls in love. He knows, however, no woman would choose to be with him in the dark land of the dead. So what does he do? He abducts her. Ceres, the mother, seeks for the daughter all over the world and finally founds her with Pluto. She begs Pluto to give the daughter back, but Pluto explains that that would be impossible as Proserpina has already eaten some pomegranate seeds. In fact, they have this rule which prohibits those who's eaten food in the underground to return to the world of the living. Desperate mother insists and in the end makes a deal with Pluto. Proserpina will be with her for six months a year and for the other six months, with Pluto. In the spring, Ceres welcomes her daughter with blooming flowers, but after six months, when Proserpina leaves her to join Pluto, sad mother Ceres let goes of her duty, leaving the earth without flowers and green. Obviously, this is why we have the Four Seasons. Since the ancient days, it's always been a very popular theme, as you can see. Now let's take a closer look at Bernini's sculpture. As his own son Domenico Bernini has noted, it's an amazing contrast of tenderness and cruelty. The powerful, brawny body of Pluto, the soft, moist flesh of young Proserpina. And don't forget Cerberus, the three-headed guardian, the hairy dog always on Pluto's side. All these different textures from one piece of marble.
It is a tragic moment. Look how desperate and frightened she is, in tears. On the other hand, Pluto looks as if he's almost enjoying it. However, as we know, the story has a happy ending, so let's just relax and admire what the genius Bernini has created. If you have time, check where Bernini had his studio. This statue was created exactly here. And why not pay a visit to his tomb? This amazing city doesn't only show you a masterpiece, but it allows you to live it.